International African Arts Festival, brought to you virtually this year. My name is Adiemi Bandeli, and I'm blessed and just grateful to be here, uh, going through all of these changes with you, but still plugging ahead to produce and present this International African Arts Festival. I'm joined by my sister, my friend, my comrade, Sharon Gordon, who's going to give you some more information about how you can continue on this journey with us. Hey, Baba Yemi, how are you? Greetings, you. everybody. So good to be here. This, yes, like Baba says, is our first, my gosh, historic 
that we're bringing you the festival virtually. And so if you want to follow us on social media, because we're streaming right now on our Facebook page, I know we're streaming on IG and also on YouTube. And you can just follow us at IAA Festival. That's it, at IAA Festival. And you locate us, whether it's Facebook, IG, Twitter, or YouTube. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We are here. We're going to also be here next week, Baba. We're giving you two nights of festivals. So tonight, the 4th, we're celebrating. And next week on the 11th, you'll get part two. But right now, I'm going to throw it back over to Baba Yeme because he has some more information for you. Thank you, Sharon. So uh, as we begin, those of you who have been on this journey with us before know that for us, it's extremely important to begin our event with libation because we always believe it's important to honor those who came before us and to let them know that they matter. To join us today in this libation ceremony, we have an Akan priest, Nana Bokin, Okur, Ra Pon, Yi Rin Chiwa. Oh, Oh, Nana so many whose names that we are not caught, that we can't call all at this time yeah. but we want to at least remember those ancestors who have um, helped us yeah. with the African International African Arts Festival. Yeah. So we want to call the names of Baba uh, Kasisi Gichuwe Yusi. Yeah. We want to call the names of Yusef Iman, yeah. uh, if, of uh, Baba Mze Moyo, yeah. of um, uh, Mama Kuumba Jama, yeah. uh, Brother Yusef Wali Yaya, yeah. Bay, Baba yeah. Bay, Bobby Shangi. Yeah. And we want to call the names of those who have been here for us. Uh, Brother Ilambe Graff, Brother yeah. Ilambe Graff, uh, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, Dr. Amos Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. And we want to remember those who we don't hear their names now in the struggle, but we know that they were the ones who their lives were taken. Yeah, no, no. Like the, the lives that have been taken in this day. Yeah. So we want to remember Eleanor Bumpers, yeah. Clifford Glover, yeah. Willie Turks, yeah. Joseph Hawkins, yeah. Michael Griffith, yeah. Trayvon Martin, yeah. Sandra Glenn, yeah. Orlando Castillo. Yeah. All of those, all of those who have, whose names are continuing to be called out. Yeah, no, no. And we're praying in the name of our great ancestors. Yeah. And Malcolm X, yeah. Harriet Tubman, yeah. Andrew Hamer. Yeah. All of the great powers, all of our great leaders, all of our great warriors yeah. from all of our lineages. Yeah. We're asking that they be with us on this day, yeah. that they pray for us, okay. that they help us and give us the strength we need yeah. to continue to um, move forward, yeah. to continue in our fight for justice, yeah. and to continue for the healing and for the prayers yeah. of good health, peace, love, and prosperity yeah. in all areas of life. Yeah. We say Nadasi Khan. 
Yo. Yo. And thank you. And so now, as we move forward, we also want to just have one additional piece. If you're with family, ask them to come into the room because we would like to just have a moment of silence in honor of all of those folks who are out here today fighting, fighting in the streets, fighting in the emergency rooms, fighting in the uh, wherever else, because there is such a struggle going on. So for just a few moments, please be still with family, celebrate and appreciate them. So a moment of silence, please. I can't leave. You took me from my mother and shipped me across the ocean. Chained me and enslaved me. Put this racist system in motion. Whipped me and proselytized me until you got my devotion. Cut me by my roots so that I may forever be susceptible to your coercion. I can't relieve. In 1865, you claim emancipation. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within your nation. The same year the Ku Klux Klan was formed in preparation, set me free with no reparations? That's not my idea of liberation. I can't interweave. You told me slavery was gone, but Jim Crow was still alive. Forced segregation did not let me vote until 1965. True freedom withheld whilst the KKK were free to thrive. All men are created equal. Freedom of speech? Yet somehow, I must shut my mouth to survive. I can't achieve. You told me I could integrate, but you made no space. Took away Jim Crow and left residential segregation in its place. You taught me to hate my own people with the anger that I misplaced. Black on black crime in the ghetto I call home. Enemies in your rat race. I can't breathe. You suffocate my growth under the guise of constitution. 27% of people double my share, face prosecution. What do you expect from a country that has their prison? as a private institution. Yes, slavery looks a bit different now. It is simple evolution. I can't breathe. I surrender to you peacefully. You put your knee in my neck for nine minutes. So now, the streets must speak for me. I can't breathe, they echo, as flames rise from the pain you refuse to see. Demanding justice in a place where equal was never what you intended us to be. And welcome back. We hope that you uh, were able to experience that with family, with the moment of silence. And of course, remembering our ancestors is so extremely important. So we thank you for joining us. We also want to just um, acknowledge that clip on I Can't Breathe, because that just definitely has to touch you. And if it's touching you, then we know that it is an important experience. Um, we also now want to move forward. 
and we are looking at North Africa, the people from Morocco, and a group of musicians called Inova Ganawa Band. Please enjoy.
continuing to journey with us on this, the 49th International African Festival, virtually. We now want to uh, thank the folks from uh, Morocco, our Ghanaian brothers and sisters for uh, that experience. Would you please now welcome Sister Sharon. She's going to remind you and your family again how to continue on this journey with us. Sharon? Hey, Baba, thank you for that. And again, just welcome family and friends. We want you to tell a friend to tell a friend to log on to our Facebook page, IAA Festival, or jump on over to the Instagram page, IAA Festival. 
or you can go on over to Twitter at IAA Festival or on our YouTube channel, yes, at IAA Festival or at our website at iaafestival.org. As a matter of fact, when you go to iaafestival.org, you can actually give a donation to the International African Arts Festival and you'll be able to check out our vendors as well. So take your time, but hurry up and tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, I'm happy to be here with one of um, the International African Arts favorite vendors, one of them. Um, it's uh, San Jules is the name of the company. So, uh, Sandra Second and her husband Jules have been coming to the festival for like the last, um, I would say 10 years, about 10, 10 years. years. About 10 years. Yeah. And we're so happy to have you right now. So um, I, I don't see your husband here. Is he in this today? No, he's working hard, trying to set up for something for later. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, I'm glad that you're here. So I just wanted to, and again, thank you for being here. I, I know you've been coming to festival, like you said, for 10 years. Um, I just wanted to ask, what makes you keep coming back to International African Arts Festival? It's like home. Mm. That's, that's the basic bottom line answer. I feel wanted i feel um loved i feel recognized when i come to african to international african arts festival and um it's always been in my blood um even when i wasn't a vendor i would always come so to be part of it as a vendor has been awesome yes. so missing to see oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> and you know i i know we were talking um off camera we were saying that since the COVID has been in, you don't you you traveled to other festivals in the past, and you said that you may not want to do that. But will you be coming back to our festival? Oh, it, definitely. This is home. It's in Brooklyn. I'm in Brooklyn. So even though I may cut up, you know, cut up, cut on some shows, definitely mm -hmm. I'll be in all my Brooklyn, the two major Brooklyn shows. I will be there, and yours definitely. Excellent. We will be happy to have you. Um, I want you to um, just kind of show us a little bit of your, your craft so that people will be able to see it and then let them, let them know how they can get in touch with you to make purchases. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see some of because I'm setting up for a live this evening. So I have some of my um, stuff already set up. Okay. So we've been doing t-shirts of course nice. and our, oops. okay and the dresses we do dresses we do a lot of tie-dye tie yeah. that's your main that's your main uh product is tie-dye yes well the t-shirts was really what we started off with first but then the tie-dye became the driver now since covid though the t-shirt line has has taken back up a lot. Mm -hmm. It really, really has got a life of its own again. It's like what was booked to when we first started 16 years ago. Nice. So it's, it's been excellent. Um, COVID hasn't been excellent, but I would say some of the the, the challenges and the, the growth we got out of it has been kind of strange, but it's good. Okay, good. That's good to hear. So you, I see a hat back there. You're selling hats as well? No, no girl. That was supposed to be my summer hat. <laughs> All right. So, but anyway, we, I want you to, what's your, um, your website? Our website is www.sanjules, S-A-N-J-U-L-E-S.com. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to post that on the, so that people would be able to know how to get in touch with you. And, oh, cool. and thank you so much for the time. And you look beautiful. And we hope to see you next year. I, I, you know, I hope so. I hope out so. of town and we'll see you here at, see you at the festival next year. Yes, I hope so. And I look forward to it. And you all stay safe and healthy. I love you all. You all are my family. Yes, it's true. Thank you so much, Sandra. Okay, bye-bye. Love to Jules. Take yes, care. Yes, I will. Okay, bye-bye. Bye now. <laughs>
He's been there ever since I can remember. Jimmy, how long have you been coming to festival as a vendor? Like a hundred years. A hundred years. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> most, most, I think it was, uh, I think I started in 95. So you're looking at uh, 25 years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So your hair wasn't this color when you started coming, huh? <laughs> Actually, my, my hair was all... Uh, gray but now it's turning black <laughs> it looks good it looks good jimmy um well and you, and you do you go, attend other festivals or is this are you go to festivals in different parts of the country i'm just wondering yes, how do. unique is our festival to you well i do other festivals around the world you know, mm -hmm. like a few in europe in nigeria uh -huh. and a lot a lot more in america okay. but the, the New York Festival is the International African Festival of the Arts in New York. We used to call it the Boys and Girls. Yes. It's my favorite and it's my best so far. In Good. terms of, in terms of uh, acceptability, the reception, and the returns. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people, if, you're, if not, they don't see you, they want to know where's Jimmy King. So well, you're well known in our festival and we're glad to have you. Jimmy, can you show some of your um your work a little bit before we have yeah. to go? Yeah, surely. Um the the t-shirt I'm wearing, I dedic I made this dedicated to George Floyd and the C V nineteen that's ah. happening now. These are masquerades, the semi four masquerades from uh, West Africa. They come out when somebody dies or there's a disease in uh -huh. town, in the village, they come out to escort the body, the spirit of the deceased uh -huh. to live, to, uh, to ascend to the astral world. Or they come out to cleanse. They carry brooms. These two masquerades, they carry brooms in their hands and they use the broom to do like a sweeping gesture in the uh -huh. air. By so doing, they're escorting the disease or like cholera or yellow fever out of the village or out of town or the spirit of the dead also. So they come out twice. Wow. You know, wow. When somebody dies or when there's a disease in town. Okay. That's just a sample. But wow. I have I have here some other pieces of mine. This is um 
This is what my latest work. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's like half moon, but in a geometric motif. I made it into into a jumpsuit. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a jumpsuit, cool. and then also this is one of my prints. This is one of my latest prints. Okay. You know, it's uh, it's also geometric, but I do all the dyeing, the printing, and the stitching on all my pieces. And this one on the wall is one of my paintings. Wow! Wow! I, I didn't realize that you were, I knew you were, you, your clothing, wearable art. I knew that, but now you have photos and it's so nice to be in your home. Thank you. Um, Jimmy, I wanted to, if you can give us your, um, your website so that people can know how to get in touch with you. Well, it's a www.shopjimmyking.com. Okay. Just remember Jimmy King, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. I'm so glad to see you. Can't wait Thank till, you. until next year when you're at our 50th and people can see you live. Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jimmy. Okay. okay. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for the Bye. opportunity. Thank you. Absolutely. It's not just the Western world that has the scientific know-how to beat the virus. In Senegal, a laboratory has used its AIDS and Ebola experience to develop a $1 COVID-19 testing kit. Al Jazeera's Nicholas Hawk has more. Senegal is doing what most countries can't, testing everyone, symptoms or not, entering a health center for the novel coronavirus. It has no shortage of testing kit thanks to this lab at the Institut Pasteur. Researchers are developing a $1 quick diagnostic kit originally made to test for dengue fever. Patients drop blood or saliva onto the devices and wait for a bloodline to appear, like a pregnancy test, explains researcher Amadou Sal. There is no need for a highly equipped lab. It's a simple test that can be done anywhere. The idea is to rapidly produce two to four million kits, not just for us, but for African countries, so that we can detect and isolate patients quickly. The sick are administered a cheap anti-malarial drug called chloroquine, commonly found in sub-Saharan Africa where malaria is endemic. With only 50 ventilator machines for 16 million people, Senegalese engineers are using a 3D printing machine to produce more. While imported ventilators cost $16,000, this one is just $60. Senegal is counting the cost and it's paying off. More than a month into the outbreak, the small West African nation suffered only two deaths, with most patients treated healed. Senegal has the largest rate of recovery in patients infected with the coronavirus in Africa, the third in the world ahead of countries like the United States and France. And while it has a tiny health budget compared to those countries, it has a wealth of experience in dealing with infectious diseases and outbreaks. Oh, that was wonderful. Salima Ra and guitarist Flavio Silva uh, doing Sweetest Taboo, that was, from Sade. Wow. Mm. Thank you so much for that. And I also want to thank Sister Ellen and the vendors. And you're going to see a lot more vendors being featured here uh, tonight on our virtual stream of the International African Arts Festival Year 49. And we also want you to follow us, please, on all of our social media platforms, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it's IAA Festival. We want you to go to our website at iafestival.org. And I'm repeating this because I know a lot of you are sharing this information with your family and friends. So please get the, the, the name right. IAA Festival is where you find us on social media. Matter of fact, um, Baba Yeme, I'm gonna jump over to you, but right before that, I just want folks to know, next Saturday, we're right here, July 11th, with another broadcast. But I'm throwing it over to you now, Baba Yeme. Yes, and I'm just gonna let the folks know that uh, we continue to bring you some of the greatest music and entertainment, but more importantly, what we're doing is protecting and preserving our culture. We just went to Morocco, and uh, I'm going to throw it back to Sharon because she is going to take us. Well, actually, we just came back from Brazil, (laughs) right? We just came back from Brazil. So we've covered Africa, North Africa, um, South America, and so we are glad to have that happen. Um, But I also want to just emphasize that next year will be 50 years of this International African Arts Festival. 
Festival 50 is coming forward. And we're going to give you some more information later. But please, we also want to encourage you to donate and support this festival because this is what self-determination is all about. Darren, back to you. Thank you so much, Baba Yim, and thank you, thank you so much. And to everyone logging on, to everyone checking in, we thank you, we see you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We definitely want you to just put where you are checking in from in the comment section, wherever you are, whether you're on the website, the Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, or on the YouTube channel. Let us know where you are checking in from, because as you can see, we are touring we are taking this Pan-African trip. I also want to thank Sister Ellen and all she's doing with our vendors. You just had an opportunity to see how Senegal is addressing this particular uh, uh, COVID pandemic. Interesting, when leadership has some sense, has some compassion, what can be achieved versus what is happening here in this country, which has now become number one in the number of deaths related to the COVID pandemic. So we lift our heads to uh, the Senegalese government and we thank Al Jazeera for providing that to us. Sharon? Thank you so much, Baba Yeme. Thank you so much and you're so right about that. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to a band coming to you straight out of Haiti, Jamaica, Puerto Rico because it's a Pan-African, Pan-Caribbean experience. And the band I'm talking about is IET ban. Take it away, IET ban. Hey, what's going on, world? How you doing? My name is Alex Andre, and I'm here with the IET band. We're just here to honor, we're honored to celebrate the International African Arts Festival. We're just gonna have a good time, sing a couple songs, and you know, bring some good cheer. You know, and we got our sister Felicia Ross getting ready to come up, so you know you're in for a treat. So, let's enjoy. And I'll be your friend 
Census online. (laughs) 
Greetings, family. My name is Stephanie Zinnerman, and I am the Census 2020 lead for the Brooklyn NAACP, working with coalition groups to achieve a complete and accurate count of African-descended communities living in Brooklyn, New York. Welcome to Festival, our annual celebration of our history, of our culture, and cooperative economics. I'm dropping in today to talk to you about the importance of the census and to enlist your assistance in ensuring that your neighbors, your friends, families, and members of your household participate and show up to be fully counted in the 2020 census. To date, our community has only achieved a 50% self-response rate. That is six points below the 56% that we achieved in 2010. As you are aware, our schools are underfunded, our transportation and infrastructure are suffering. And right now, as we experience this global health epidemic, our hospitals don't have enough beds, ventilators, or PPE to help our families survive. So each and every one of us needs to go to my2020.gov and complete the census online. If you have a smartphone, if you have a computer or access to broadband, you are able to complete the census online today. There's only 10 questions on the census, and it'll take you about 10 minutes, and it will determine how we live in this community for the next 10 years. That is my2020.gov. If you don't have access to the internet, you can call 1-844-330-2020. That's 1-844-330-2020 and speak to a United States government census employee and answer your 10 questions over the telephone. If you still have access to your census envelope, you can open the envelope and complete the 10 questions for you and your family and send it in to the mail, through the mail today. It is just that simple. 10 questions, about 10 minutes, and it will determine the next 10 years. You can complete the census on the internet, on the telephone, or by mail. A lot of people are concerned about the safety of participating in the census. And I understand why people feel that way. African descended communities have been historically underfunded, under-resourced in this community and targeted by the government since we were brought to these shores in the 1600s. And we know that in the 1790s, which is the first census, we were only considered three-fifths human beings. And that's how we were counted and showed up. Currently, we know that if we show up 100% of the time, we will get 100% of the resources. We also know that any census employee who shares the data with any other governmental agency, even the president themselves, can be imprisoned for up to 10 years and be subject to a $250,000 fine. In addition, the Census Department has worked very hard to ensure that none of the data is hacked by any foreign or domestic invader. We have to get this information out to our community, especially our immigrant brothers and sisters who fear being deported by sharing this information, or people who fear that because of their living conditions, that information might be shared with their landlords and they would be evicted. The census is safe to participate in, and as long as we as a community are sticking together and showing up 100%, we will have the resources and the power to make sure that we are not targeted in any way. So we know that the census is easy to complete, we know that it's safe to complete, and now I just want to underscore again just how is it important it is for our community to participate. $1.2 trillion that's trillion dollars, is at stake if we do not participate in the census. Currently, the New York State budget is $170 billion, and they have had to cut resources based on the recent economic downturn. Had we been fully counted in 2010, then we would receive more, maybe even double the amount of resources that is due our community. 
Also, if we do not achieve a complete and accurate count, we are set to lose representatives at the state level as well as at Congress. Given the current occupant of the White House, we cannot afford to lose either Yvette Clark or Hakeem Jeffries or Nydia Velasquez. These are the congressional representatives here in Central Brooklyn. If only half of the people are counted, our community will end up into one of those three congressional reps, maybe lost to us, and maybe even two. So family, we need your assistance to achieving a complete and accurate count. So we implore you today to complete the census, to share this information with others, and make sure that when 2030 rolls around, we are fully resourced and fully represented. We just saw Stephanie Zinnerman, who just became our 56, the, the Assemblywoman for the 56th District, Assembly District in Brooklyn. Congrats, but we want to thank her for that census message that she gave us. And wasn't baby Alma cute, Baba Yeme? Wasn't Absolutely. she just... A star is born. <laughs> a star is born. Star and Baba Yeme, I love how she counted. Did you like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Baba Yemi, we want folks to know that they need to complete their census 2020 online, on the phone or by mail, whichever way you can complete your census 2020, because like baby Ama says, we all count. And we want to thank Efetayo as well, Baba Yemi, for giving us this um, census, uh, what would we call that, uh, PSA with baby Ama. So thanks to Efetayo and the team over there. And again, please go and complete your census online, on your phone, or by mail. Now, I told you that next week, Saturday the 11th, we're going to be back. But what do I need you to do for me? I need you to tell a friend to tell a friend that although we're not at Commodore Barry Park this year, you heard Baba Yemi say it, Festival 50 is coming next year. And in order to get us ready for Festival 50, we need you to go to iaafestival.org, that's our website, and make a donation to the International African Arts Festival. And while you're doing that, let me introduce you to someone who is just really special, coming to us from out of Haiti. Felicia Ross. Hi, Sharon Gordon here with Felicia Ross. Felicia, all I can say to you is you're the mom. Thank you, sis. Okay. Thank you, sis. But the folks out there, <laughs> we need to just tell them a little bit about you. Where are you from originally? I am Haitian American, yes. representing the yes. Haitian yes. community, yes. you know, representing the Caribbean. I'm from South Florida, but I live here in New York City. Uh -huh. And I'm just here to, to bring black music to the people in a prideful way and, and exalt us in our in our beautiful music and culture. How long have you been performing? I've been performing all my, all my life. I've been playing piano since I'm five, singing since I'm three. You're a maestro on the piano, yeah. by the way. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm my own. So you're classically trained? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we can see. Thank you. So you write as well? Yes, ma'am. Singer songwriter? Yes, I songwrite, produce, perform. Uh, I executive produce. I manage my own production company, Felicia Ross Music. I'm my own publisher, Felicia Delena Publishing. I'm just, uh, you know, an independent gal. She is that 360 <laughs> that we're talking about. Kind of. Right here. <laughs> so your performance for the International, International African Arts Festival this year. Um, something that we're really excited about. Thank you. And we thank you for that. You were working with a group of brothers there that are part of another band. Yes. Yeah. You want to just say a little bit something yes. like that? Yes. Because that was awesome. Yes, Jackson Cherry and Bridging the Gap. You know, we, I do, you know, secular music, but my boys, they do the, the music for praise. You know, we all are together doing our vibe. They are amazing musicians. They are killing it here in New York City, representing the Caribbean, representing Africa, black diaspora all over the world. So I'm glad that we could come together and enjoy. During this hard time, you know, it's people need to, to look to the artists for joy and, yes. and pleasure yes. in this yes. moment. And so I'm glad to link up with my boys and come and enjoy. Well, we're glad that we got a chance to link up with Miss Felicia Ross. We just thank you so much for joining us here at the International African Arts Festival, our 49th annual. It's Congratulations. Virtual year. That's Next okay. Year we're going to be on the going field. Yeah. We're going to be on the field for the 50th. Thank you so much, Felicia thank Ross. Thank you so much for joining us. We catch you in a few.
Join us with us. This is the International African Arts Festival. We can't be together this year, unfortunately. It's the 49th year, but we're still going to be here together somehow. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're enjoying yourself. You're using music to lift your life up. We're going to get through this. No matter what comes our way, we will prevail. That's what African art is about. It's about uplifting our community, about uplifting us. And all of you are here to do that. I'm from Shiraz. I appreciate y'all for listening. I appreciate y'all for having me. Let's turn up. We represent an IET.
at home with me. I never let you, never, never let you, never, never let you go. You at home, let's go. You can sing it louder than that. It's okay. Enjoy it in your house. I never let you, never, never let you, never, never let you go. Your turn. One more time, y'all. They're not loud enough. I never let you, never, never let you, never, never let you go. Everyone all over the world. You can sing at home, yeah. I never let you, never, never let you. I never let any of my fans go. We miss y'all so much. But we're gonna do what we can right here. Don't let go near that baby. You're gonna live by. guys enjoyed with us. Thank you for joining us for the 49th annual International African Arts Music Festival. Again, we're all doing what we can from where we are. We can't be together. Brooklyn is here. We're all sad about that, but we're together in spirit. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you, my band, for being with me tonight. We love y'all live and direct in the BK. We're still going to bring vibes to you. Bless you and all you do. Stay to be healthy, take time for yourself, must want it, and make sure you're ready to party with us when we can be together again. Again, my name is Felicia Ross, and I love you. Try 
My name is Rose Wangisa. Welcome to Wangisa African Gallery. Happy July 4th, everybody. Welcome to our gallery. During this time, as you all know, I'm usually in Brooklyn for the past 24 years at the International African Arts Festival. But due to the pandemic, it's not possible to be there. But we'll be there next year, bigger and stronger. As you can see, I have all the Tonga baskets for your home, the juju, bat, the juju hats, and the Namji dolls. I have different colors, so you could, you could really match your house, your place, with all kinds of artifacts, authentic art artifacts from Africa. All these are made by artisans, and thank you for supporting the artisans over the years and supporting us. And this is my Makonde collection. This is where I started 24 years ago. Makonde is from Tanzania, and as you all know, I was born and raised in Tanzania. We carry all kinds of artifacts from Tanzania. Makonde is made out of ebony hardwood, only found in Tanzania and Mozambique. We have all kinds of masks, and also we have we have the authentic Makonde drum. And also we have the body jewelry inspired by the Maasai. And now welcome into my home decor. This is my favorite room. We have all kinds of uh, uh, we have all kinds of home decor, authentic pillows, and I love the beautiful beaded trays. This is a great addition to your house, and also the Tonga tables. This is a, a new addition too to my collection. The lamps, and just look at the beautiful Maasai clan with over 30 family members made out of ebony wood. This is one of a kind. only found here. And now welcome to my accessory. This is where you accessorize yourself. I have all kinds of beaded jewelry, gorgeous necklaces, earrings, to fit everybody's need. Great fashion style for everybody. And also not forgetting the hats. I have all kinds of hats, beautiful hats. I have the beaded ones, as you can see right here, the beaded ones. And not forgetting the black and white and also have the wraps. And nowadays I wear wraps almost every day. I just throw it on and that's it, ready to go. During these pandemic times. As you can see, we have something for everybody. We have collected all these artifacts over for 24 years. We support the artisans back in Africa. Everything is handmade in Africa. This is not Chinese stuff or things like that. Handmade we love in Africa. And we have genuine zebra pillows. And also don't forget the beaded pillows. We, they come in different colors. 
beaded leather pillows. During these pandemic times, everybody's home. So it's a good idea to revamp your space. We have the pillows for you. We have the Namji dolls. We have the wall hangings made out of mud cloth. We have shadow boxes. We have everything for your home. Our website is luangisa.com, L-U-A-N-G-I-S-A. And you can come here, you can call us by appointment to see what we have, 914-720-7179. Thank you so much for visiting our gallery. If you love this organization that has been doing work in our community, for 49 years, then you need to step up and become a volunteer right here at the International African Arts Festival because next year it's Festival 50. You want to be a part of it. So if you're interested in being a volunteer, just go to our website, iaafestival.org. That's all you have to do and complete the volunteer form and we will be in touch with you. Thank you. And Sharon, you know, that is so extremely important because um, as I've gotten older, I've realized this term that says you have not cause you ask not and yes. so we have not had the numbers of volunteers as well as the amount of donations that we should have in order to keep this festival alive so we're going to raise it one more time we need your support if you yes. believe in what we have been doing for 49 years then we ask you we encourage you we plead to you to come out support us Get online, spread the word, and share this information again. Thank you. Baba, I like the way you said that. So you all heard what Baba Yeme said, right? So you know how to find us online, right? IAAFestival.org. That's what you do. Just go to IAAFestival.org, make your donation, become a volunteer, send us a message. Tell us how much you're enjoying this. Tell us anything you want to tell us, but please just get in touch with us. That's what we want you to do at iaafestival.org. Baba Yeme, back over to you. I know it's time for the dancing. Um, Sharon, yeah. you know that festival has a tradition of presenting some of the finest dancers on the scene imaginable. Yep. And I'm, I'm, I'm always excited, particularly when there is a group who has hit the scene like many of the the powerful ones have. I've been away from New York, and so when I came back, I kept hearing about this group, kept hearing about this group, and then I got a chance to see them, and I understand why they are so absolutely awesome. Please welcome the Asaseya Dance Company. But I also want to just take a moment to acknowledge their director, uh, Brother Osei, who works with us uh, with the festival, and he represents that new group of people who are going to take this festival further than we can imagine. So please, Asasa Ya Dance Company. <laughs> Thank you. 
can see why we so appreciate the Asasa Yard Dance Company. The energy, the power, the youthfulness, they are going to be on this scene for a while. And you must be mindful. They just didn't pop up. They are part of a tradition of dancers in this community. So many of those dancers and are children of people who perform with Donadim Zulu and other companies. So you are looking at the next generation of awesome, awesome dancers. So we thank you. Sharon, it's all yours. Baba, I thank you for that. And can I just add to what Baba Yeme just said? The drumming and the dancing in Asasaya is what puts fire under so many of us every time our feet or butts, we just start moving because the drumming and the dancing, Baba, like you said, is just so on point. But Baba, we have another performance coming up next week, July 11th. Yes, we have part two. And so I want to just mention some of the performers who will be performing uh, on the 11th. We're going to go to South Africa, Baba, for one of your favorite people. Mm -hmm. Sister Thule is going to be here. Why don't you tell people real quickly a little something about Sister Thule, Baba? Thule is not a stranger to the festival. Uh, back in the 70s and 80s, when we were actively engaged in the anti-apartheid movement, she was a part of the Welcome and Somi Dance Company. Uh, and most recently, she was, uh, was a cast member in The Lion King. So she's an awesome, awesome woman. Uh, is now back in South Africa, but she comes back and forth. But we are certainly pleased and honored to have her with us today. Absolutely. I can't wait to see your performance. And Baba, we're also going to go down to Honduras to see the Garifunia dancers, the Garifunia rather, international band with the dancers as well. They're going to be performing on the 11th. And one of your favorite, Baba, is going to be there. Winner Harper and Jelly Posse will be performing next week as well. And I know you love you some, Winner Harper. Mm. So we're looking forward to seeing you here next week, uh, July 11th. And we just want to thank all of our performers tonight for, you know, just presenting their A-game. I'm talking IET Ban. I'm talking Inav Ganoa. I'm talking Felisa Ross. I'm talking Salima Ra and Fla Flavio, Flavio, <laughs> Flavio Silva. Oh, Baba, let me do that all over again. Flavio Silva from Brazil, our guitarist with Salima Ra was wonderful, thank you so much. And everyone, all of our vendors, everyone who helped to make this presentation tonight what it is, we could not do it without you. And if you are watching this event, that means you're either on our Facebook page, IAA Festival, that's where you follow us, or you're on our IG page, IAA Festival, or you're on, you're on our YouTube channel, IAA Festival, or you're right here on our website, IAAFestival.org whichever way you are connecting with us. We want you to tell a friend to tell a friend and join us again next week, the 11th. And learn more when you go to our website about this, the longest running festival of its kind in the US. And please, please, please make a donation to festival. And we thank you, thank you, thank you, Baba. And Asante Sana. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.